Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Seven Deadly Sins collection from my brand Pamper Polishes. This collection is going on sale August 21st, so in the description box I will link my site, my business Instagram, my business Facebook page, and then my swatching Instagram where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. This is a one batch release. That means if something sells out, I don't plan on restocking it. So all of these polishes were not only inspired by the characters in appearance, but also by like their abilities and their attitudes. And I'm gonna try to talk about that as we come to each polish. So we do have seven polishes to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Gother, and this is a fuchsia tinted jelly base loaded with a purple to red aurora shimmer, ruby micro flakes, and a mixture of white glitter. So here's our first coat of Gother. I'm going to do all of these the same way across the board, whether they need it or not. I'm going to do three coats of everything, and then I'm going to show you what one coat looks like as a topper over a different colored cream. This does, I believe, have a good formula, very jelly-like. You can stop at one, two, or three coats. It does apply nice and evenly, and some of these larger white glitters do require some swirling to get them onto your brush to get them onto your nail. I did get full opacity in three coats. You are going to want a glossy top coat to finish this off, and removal will be difficult as there is some glitter in there. So there are three coats, and then here's one coat over this kind of pinky berry cream color. And again, I do really enjoy this one as a topper, but I prefer this one on its own in three coats. So there is one coat. Next up we have Escanor and this one is a gold tinted jelly base loaded with a red to gold to green aurora shimmer, bronze micro flakes, and a mixture of white glitter. Here's our first coat of Escanor. Again, the same formula that we looked at before. I do think it's smooth and easy to work with. I went a little bit thick on this first coat on accident, so I am wiping some off and fixing that coat before moving on to the second. This builds up to mostly opacity in three coats. I personally prefer this one in two coats. I also really like this one as a topper though. I would wear it both ways. Just like the last polish, this is gonna dry with some texture, so you will want some top coat to finish this off. Removal on these, I said is difficult, and it is because there's glitter, but there's not a ton of it, so it's probably like a five on a scale of one to 10. This is layered over a mustard cream, and I also really like this, but it looks really beautiful over black as well, so there is one coat. Up next we have King, and this is a grass green tinted jelly base loaded with a blue to teal to green aurora shimmer, blue micro flakes, and a mixture of white glitter. Here's our first coat of King. This one is also on the sheer side on this first coat. In three coats, I'm going to say you get like 95% opacity. I really like this one built up in three coats, but I also really like this one as a topper. I really like this one in one coat. I really like this one in two coats. This is one of my favorites of the collection, but not my complete favorite. This one is nice and shifty. Again, these white glitters do disperse, um, and then to get some of those larger ones, you might have to do some swirling if you want more of them. Here it is layered over a deeper green cream. I did try to coordinate the base color to the primary shift color in each polish, so there's one and three coats. Up next we have Meliotis, and this is a teal tinted jelly base loaded with a red to green aurora shimmer, gold flakes, and a mixture of white glitter. Here's our first coat of Meliotis, and this one is definitely my favorite of the collection. Um, very sheer on this first coat. I'm going to say I got like 80% opacity in three coats, but I really like this again in one, two, three coats. I also really, really like this one built up. Um, over a darker cream. I layered this one over a black 
just because that's how I wanted to wear it this go around. Um, but this one I did test over a swatch wheel over a multitude of colors and there wasn't one thing that I didn't love it over. This was also the first polish in this collection, so has my heart big time. It looks totally different over a darker cream, and I just love it both ways. Again, you'll have a little bit of texture and a little bit of resistance upon removal, so there's one in three coats. Next up we have Merlin, and this is a powder blue tinted jelly base. Does lean on the crelly side of jellies. And this one is loaded with a blue to indigo to purple Aurora Shimmer, purple micro flakes, and a mixture of white glitter. Here's our first coat of Merlin. This one does have a kind of creamy-esque base. So if you are gonna use this one as a topper, I do recommend going over a like white or a light blue or something lighter instead of the darker. I'm gonna show you just for consistency purposes how it looks over a dark. And this one isn't the most self-leveling of polishes, so it does have a little bit of unevenness to it over a dark polish. So if you are gonna wear this one as a topper, I recommend going over a lighter color um, but I do really like this one just built up on its own. That is my preferred way of wearing it. Here it is over a kind of deeper navy blue. Again, it isn't the most even, so you do have to work with it to get it to level itself out, but it is still really beautiful. So there are one and three coats. Next up we have Deanne and this is a bright purple tinted jelly base and it's loaded with a blue to indigo to purple Aurora Shimmer. This one also has rose gold micro flakes and a mixture of white glitter. Here's our first coat of Deanne. This one is again sheer on this first coat. I got full opacity in three coats. Again, I do think this one has a good formula to work with. These are all formulated the same and I don't put things out that I don't stand behind. So um, I do like the formulas across the board in this collection. I got full opacity with this one in three coats. I also, um, I'm gonna say this again about the glitters. They are there. You might have to work to get some of those larger ones out, um, but they do come out relatively easily. So there are three coats, and then here is one coat over a kind of wine colored base. I do really like this one, again, in three coats on its own and as a topper. So there are one and three coats. And lastly for today we have Bon, and this one is a deeper gray tinted jelly base. This one does also lean slightly crelly. This one has a purple to aqua to green aurora shimmer and red micro flakes and that white glitter mixture. And here's our first coat of Bon. This one is again sheer on this first coat. Smooth, easy to work with formula that I do really enjoy playing with. I did get full opacity in three coats on this one. Again, these glitters do come out easily. You might have to work for some of those larger ones, but they are easy enough to catch if you want them. This one is also super shifty on the nail. This is another one that does have a kind of creamy-esque base, so depending on what you layer it over, like you probably wouldn't be able to layer this one over a lighter color. This one is more suited for a darker color if you choose to wear this one as a topper. I do really like it as, again, a topper and on its own, but I do think I prefer this one on its own. Here is one coat over a darker gray cream. I do really like how this looks. The combination of this is beautiful and it makes the flakes stand out even more. So there are one and three coats. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.